おいこれはどういう状況だ Which Attack on Titan VR game is better? Hey hey hey! Welcome to my channel, everyone! I'm the Global Cherry, and we're going to be comparing Attack on Titan Unbreakable to the Attack on Titan fan game. Before we begin, subscribe, like the video, and enjoy the show! The world of Attack on Titan has captivated fans with its intense battles, thrilling storyline, and unforgettable characters. Now, with the series expanding into virtual reality, players have the chance to experience the fight against the Titans firsthand. With multiple Attack on Titan VR games available, we scouts are eager to find out which one delivers the most immersive and faithful adaptation of this beloved anime. In this video, we'll be comparing Two popular titles, Attack on Titan Unbreakable and Slavka's Attack on Titan fan game. When I first watched the gameplay footage for Attack on Titan Unbreakable, I found it quite underwhelming. However, when I finally got my hands on the game, I ended up having a lot of fun and played through all levels twice. Although it's still in early access, the game is surprisingly polished and does an excellent job of capturing the thrill of fighting titans in a massive district. Story wise, you start. As a new recruit in the Scout Regiment, tasked with helping humanity fend off the Titan invasion, the story kicks off after the colossal Titan breaks through Wall Maria, plunging the world into chaos. You begin with an intense encounter where Levi saves you from a Titan that tries to eat you like a human Snickers bar. You then regain consciousness in the Scout Regiment base where Armin guides you through survival training. Whether you prefer Armin's voice in subbed or dubbed form is up to you, but rest Rest assured, the Japanese voice acting is spot on. As you progress, you'll meet other iconic Attack on Titan characters once you return to base. In Slavka's Attack on Titan fan game, you get to play as any of the Attack on Titan characters you want, and in different situations, their voice lines are accurately used. Gameplay wise, despite being an early access title, Attack on Titan Unbreakable manages to provide a surprisingly polished experience. The game effectively mirrors the thrill and terror of fighting titans within vast cityscapes. It's a faithful adaptation that offers an immersive look into what it's like to be part of the Scout Regiment. Visually, the game's graphics are bold and crisp, though they resemble those of a PS2 game. However, I eventually got used to the style as it effectively captured the feeling of being immersed in a Japanese anime. That said, the universe team should work on improving the shadows, scaling, and ensuring there are no frame drops to enhance the visual experience further. The gameplay is outstanding, especially when it comes to swinging with ODM gear and engaging in combat. Both Actions feel incredibly satisfying, particularly when taking down multiple titans. When it comes to the music, both Unbreakable and Slavka's fan game have impressive soundtracks. The soundtrack in Unbreakable feels particularly inspirational, while the fan game provides varied music tailored to different situations, which enhances the overall experience. The titans in Unbreakable are significantly more responsive than those in the fan game. In Slavka's fan game, titans simply run towards you and pick you up without much complexity in their behavior. However, in Unbreakable, the Titans exhibit a range of actions that make encounters more dynamic and challenging. When you fly above them, they leap into the air in an attempt to grab you. If you fly in front of them, they clap their hands together to immobilize you. Some Titans even display unique behaviors. Some hunch over as they stalk towards you, while others cover their ears when the sound of your ODM gear becomes too loud. I've even observed smaller titans lying down, seemingly waiting for the perfect moment to strike. The abnormal titans in this game have distinct characteristics as well. They are more defensive, often covering their napes, which are noticeably thicker and harder to cut. Some abnormals engage in bizarre actions like dancing, or suddenly sprinting at full speed. When you're on a rooftop within their reach, they can destroy the structure to grab you. If your 
are just beyond their reach, they tend to hover nearby, watching your every move. While the abnormals in the anime are typically more relentless, Unbreakable captures some of that unpredictability. I've witnessed some titans swinging their arms against buildings or charging into structures, adding an element of realism and intensity to the game. There are 10 missions across the two chapters of the game, and they fall into three main categories, killing titans heading towards a gate, defending specific areas for a limited amount of time, and gathering supplies. Each mission is presented as a timed challenge, and so far I've only managed to achieve a perfect streak of one star on each mission during my first attempt. Slavka's fan game offers an open world experience without any constraints. As you swing around, you can fully appreciate the vastness of the city, both inside and outside the walls. Additionally, the game allows you to change the time of day, letting you explore during either day or night, adding an extra layer of immersion and freedom, and not the Aaron kind. Unbreakable gives you the impression of being in a vast area, but you'll encounter borders if you travel too far. Now let's discuss the controls. The controls in Unbreakable are simpler than those in the fan game, but they still take some getting used to. For instance, swinging around a titan requires some practice, as does using the right stick for gas boost and switching blades mid-jump. Both Unbreakable and Slavka's fan game feature a mechanic where chopping titan flesh wears out your blades. However, Unbreakable offers a more intuitive experience with ODM gear, making it easier to zip to a point, maneuver through the air, and combat the onslaught of titans. While you can make turns in the air, it doesn't offer the mid-air rotation that the fan game does. Despite this, the combat in both Unbreakable and the fan game feels incredibly satisfying. In Unbreakable, you can hack off the limbs of abnormals to bring them crashing to the ground. Chopping their legs causes them to fall and using buildings to gain momentum lets you swing towards their necks with precision. Same goes for the fan game. And surprisingly, neither game causes motion sickness, even with all the movement involved. While playing in VR, I sometimes get tangled in the cables of my headset, but it's a small price to pay for the immersive experience of slaying titans in virtual reality. In both Unbreakable and the fan game, the titans can grab you, forcing you to frantically slice their fingers to escape their grip. When it comes to controls, if you want to perform more complex and detailed maneuvers, like an Attack on Titan character, I'd recommend the fan game for sure. It offers more intricate details such as your character lying flat as you make sharp turns across the district with your ODM gear. In terms of weapons, Attack on Titan Unbreakable boasts an impressive lineup of 10 different weapons, each tailored to suit various playstyles, whether you're slicing through titans with classic double blades or opting for the devastating power of saw blades. Each weapon offers a unique combat experience. However, these powerful tools come with a cost. They consume more gas, adding a strategic dimension to your choice and weaponry. You'll need to balance power and resource management to optimize your effectiveness in battle. In Slavka's Attack on Titan fan game, players can and also explore a wide range of weaponry. Traditional blades paired with ODM gear are a staple, providing the familiar feel of fast-paced titan slaying. Additionally, players have access to a bow, introducing long-range tactics to your arsenal. The latest build of the fan game has expanded the variety even further by introducing thunder spears. These explosive weapons offer a new layer of tactical depth, allowing you to tackle titans with a fresh strategic approach. So what do you think? Think which Attack on Titan VR game seems better? Let me know in the comments below. Are you willing to try Attack on Titan VR Unbreakable? That is all for today. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more content like this, or Attack on Titan content, and let me know your thoughts. Thank you for watching, and that's all.